Alright, welcome back. Toddy's World. This one, uh... This one's kind of fun, because, uh... Brings back old memories of Arkansas. I'm from Arkansas. Grew up there. Man, did we hear all kinds of crazy stuff about the Clintons. Let's see what Tim's got to say about this uh, Daily Mail article. Internet. And I come across this story from the Daily Mail. Exclusive. Arkansas cops rule suicide and death of Clinton aid linked to Jeffrey Epstein, who was found shot and tied to a tree with electrical cord around his neck, despite no weapon. No sign of weapon. Shot himself in the chest with a shotgun. Hung himself with an electric cord. The CIA, and then he got shot twice in the head. Suicide. And they were like, mm, suicide? Sure, that explains it. Good luck. You know, I've been talking about how I'm watching the show uh, Yellowstone. <clears throat> Boy, they sure do kill a lot of people in that show, and they get away with it all the time. I guess when you're in the middle of nowhere, you do. And the scary reality of this world is that premeditated murder, people get away with it. It's scary, but it's true. So, uh, what's this story? The grisly scene where a top Bill Clinton advisor was found hanged from a tree with a gun... Just hypothetically, okay. Do you think it would be easier to get away with a... Like a crime of passion? Like a, a murder you didn't plan? Like you just get pissed off at your best friend and you kill him? You think he would be better? You think you would be more likely to uh, get caught after one of those? Or after a premeditated one? I'd say there's probably a lot more premeditated ones being gotten away with. Unshot wound to his chest has been finally has finally been revealed nine months after he died. Hmm. But the sheerest report Suicide. into Mark Middleton's mysterious death raises more questions than it answers, as it rules he died by suicide, despite no sign of the weapon that killed him. Middleton 59, 59 was found dead last May at the Heifer Ranch in Perryville, Arkansas, an hour west of Little Rock. Release of the report was held up after members of his family petitioned a judge. It's like where the 4-H center is. Public. <clears throat> the judge eventually ruled that details could be released, but photographs could not. Interesting. The report, written by Perry County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Lawson, says he was called to the ranch by workers at the McElroy, who had found Middleton's... Yeah, so that's the old 4-H club. Heifer Ranch, 4-H Club. On the ranch. We went there on a field trip when I was a kid. After stepping around the corner of the cottage, he started yelling. Upon reaching the back of the cottage, he pointed towards the, the rear of the property and asked if that was a person. I could see what, fear, what, what at first appeared to be a man sitting near a tree. As my eyes focused better, I could see a rope or some type going from the tree limb to the male. I could see that he had a gunshot wound to, his, to the chest and that he had a knot the tied body the tension cord around his neck and was attached to the limb directly above him. I'm glad I never met Deputy him. Deputy said a search, war, a search of Milton's vehicle turned up three boxes of buckshot and a gun case, but no weapon. The details give fresh insight. I did work for a guy who, uh... His wife worked at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, and he was into politics. He actually was a delegate for the DNC. And, uh, he would tell me stories of when the Clintons were living in the governor's mansion. And just how nasty of a bitch Hillary used to be, like walking around with greasy ass hair, just completely unkempt and smelly looking. Like you look at her and you could think she smells. You could tell she smells with your eyeballs. That's how nasty this woman was. Maybe you blame it on the nineties. I don't know. Into the death of Middleton. Okay, just simply put, he didn't do it. It's not a suicide. What the is this? Did you have uh, information that would lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton? Is it even a meme anymore? Yeah. This is crazy. So that dude, the dude knew the gunshot he had ties to Epstein. No weapon. Who took the weapon? Now he's dead. Middleton was a special advisor to Clinton in the 90s. That's a good question, Tim. Who took the Jeffrey weapon? And signed Jeffrey Epstein into the White House on several of the 17 times the late Pito visited. Middleton also flew on Epstein's jet. Interesting. Oh, Middleton. That's Harry part of the Sheriff's family. Office. They own, they own this huge... Middleton's HVAC company, from Middleton Heat and Air, okay. it's massive, Explain massive company. Explain to me how a dude ties himself to a tree, 
pretty Hits reliable. Itself, and then the gun Middleton, so if you want me to plug you, just let me know. If it was a suicide, they'd find the weapon. It would be next to his body or in his hands. They say White House visitor logs previously reported by Daily Mail. I think that's all I need from Tim here. Uh, what do you think? You think the Clintons got this guy too? Is the body count getting bigger? Who done it? Oh. You wonder why I'm cold? It's snowing in Vegas today. Did you know that? Snow in Vegas. Late February. Windy and snowing. Anyway, that's that for this one. Thanks for watching Toddy's World. Um, um, that's it. Thanks again.